Here's my new EDC backpack. It's the Hazard 4 Plan B. Uh, this is the 2017 model with the hard shell uh, cap. It's a 17 liter sling bag. If you see my previous video, I was using a Maxpedition entity bag. And then from there, I was using a Maxpedition uh, Velspar shoulder sling, which was working really good too. And then from that, I was using a SOG Scout 24. And I've progressed to wanting a sling bag. So on this bag, you get a Velcro Molly field for your patches. Um, they also have these things called, this is extra, it's called the hard point attachment. I'm always a sucker when it comes to like little little attachment things on here. This was eight bucks. Essentially, it's probably gonna do nothing. Uh, maybe I'll hook your keys to it, put a carabiner there, but it kinda, some of their other packs, it looks like they get like four corners. And in some of their videos, they even posted that they have like LED lights. And I'd actually be really stoked to get the LED light because uh, they were saying, oh, they're good for mo motorcycles and bikes. That would be awesome. I'd love to have an LED flasher on there for when I ride my motorcycle because I, I ride motorcycles too. Uh, the side of the bag has rows, three, three strip rows of molly, side pouches. Um, they are not big enough to hold a water bottle. I was hoping that my water bottle would fit if they were like a little bit of a bungee. That'd be kind of nice if they did stretch just a little bit and you could slide a water bottle in there. Um, Obviously, the idea of the pack is so that it can stay narrow. Uh, the idea is it can fit in a locker. Uh, it can fit through port hatches, they say, or you can even put it in between seats in bags or Humvees and that kind of stuff for military guys. But honestly, a military guy isn't going to be using a bag like this. It's going to carry nothing for them, um, you know. So let's go to the first pocket. What I did do is I did take the thumb poles off my Maxpedition so that I didn't have to buy them. And I put them on all the zippers in this bag. Uh, this bag comes with, um, I, there's a zipper up here that I didn't replace. It just comes with like a regular paracord, which just kinda, they're cool, but these ones are so much nicer. Even my SOG backpack carries uh, no names, has like no name or their own brand of a plastic thumb, uh, plastic finger pull. The zippers are really smooth. I don't think they're y YKK. Um, you know, which kind of sucks. I feel like if you don't have YKK, like, who else is making zippers anyway? But, you know, these zippers will probably be fine. This is the main pouch. It gets a little cluttered because it just kind of all sits in here jumbled. Um, so if you kind of peel away my little wet wipes, my spork, my charger, my headlamp, uh, my uh, Jabra Sport Elite wireless, pure wireless headphones. These are these are sick. These are awesome. I love these. Little notebook. Um, and then you get to, I got a little charging block here. I got my super tool pen. Um, as you can see, I had the pen in this sleeve. What happens is just the weight of the bag, because it's so long, it bends in. And it was literally just pushing on the pen cap and it barely fits like i mean it's kind of i don't i don't know seems like they could have moved it down a little bit more um the sharpie stays kind of but it still see how it kind of pokes pokes the top there i mean the sharpie doesn't even slide all the way down but whatever i'm not you know big deal and then you got this kind of um i guess like card holder change purse and that's what i have i have like a little change purse in there and i got a uh, some other stuff in there so that's kind of nice, hides it away. And then there's a little bit of room down here where you can tuck some stuff and I got some, uh, I got some Excedrin in there. So let's put all this junk back in and hopefully not spill it too bad. Okay. This is like a little $10 micro stun gun I got on Amazon. You just plug it into the wall to charge it. Pretty slick. Pretty cool little, cool little deal, just for the hell of it. You know, why not have a $10 stun gun? It's funny as hell, it hurts. It hurts like a little bitch. All right, and then when we go, I didn't put my spork away. Come on, spork, get in there. There we go. Did I stab myself with my spork? All right, and so 
the hard shell case is kind of odd too because it won't fit my iPhone 7. Uh, um, it'll kind of fit my Pit Viper glasses. Um, right now I actually just have, that's the other end of the attachment. I guess you could swip them around and have that on the outside and then add that little dildo nipple on the inside, but I work. Uh, what I have in here is a, is a taser pulse. It's the taser uh, gun. Things legit. Okay. On the side here, I got my Topps Micro Hawk. Things badass. All right. So these are your uh, your bag um, straps to you know tighten your bag. All right. So when you get the bag, where's the zippers for it? Zippers are up here. So when you get the bag. Sorry, one these corners are a little hard to, to pull because it's the because of the angle of the zipper. It makes it a little difficult. So let's see here. Overall, I thought the bag, when you look at it online, it's uh it looks so long, but it's only about as long as my forearm. And I'm about six uh six two, six three. So I mean I am tall and I have a long forearm, but still it's not uh it's not overly long they do look they do have some bags that look freaking long as hell because they're for rifles and stuff like that all right so we'll just flip it open and hopefully it doesn't fall all right so over here you have a mesh uh bag here and mine's just full of crap i got some a lighter some batteries and stuff for my flashlights um an extra pen and uh some other stuff in there, uh, a charger for my Apple Watch, and then I have a platypus flat water bottle. I just kind of slid behind it, and that kind of that kind of works pretty good. I'm probably going to get some kind of um, like little EDC zipper po pocket to kind of clean some of this up because it just puts all this crap everywhere. So I'm probably going to get like a little um, zipper pouch. And so in here, the bag comes with one divider, and I went out and bought a. I got an extra divider pack, so it's like 10 bucks, and you get um, two of the dividers. And I was gonna put one way up top here and kind of just make like a dedicated um, pocket for uh, my sunglasses, um, you know, just to kind of sit up at the top of the pack, or your gloves or, or whatever. But I decided I wanted to keep a good portion of it open for, uh, open for storage because you know at that point it just turns into like a little cubby and I can't really hold anything um, and you might be asking like oh well, why don't you use the hard shell case for your glasses and I might um, usually what I do is this costs six bucks on Amazon and I put my pit vipers in here and I have another pair of pit vipers that um, I have in another one of these and for six bucks it's like you know and I can just keep this in the bag and then I can use the thermo case for other things um, you know, or vice versa, or maybe if I'm not wearing my pit vipers, I could use that storage for that. Probably my taser is just going to live in there uh, for the most part, rather than have it rattling around in here. I got my mechanics gloves, I got a shemog, and so in the little storage part here, I got some cliff bars and stuff. So what I did in the bottom, and this is the bottom of the pack, so what I did is I put the first shelf um, where my my first aid kit, my rat's tourniquet, and I got some I got some 9mm right there. So I have that on the bottom, just kind of as the base, uh, you know, the base to keep the first aid kit, which uh, works pretty good. And then I um, put the other ones in here. So I have my monocular, and then I have my uh, Yesu with the antenna taken off, and then the antenna is uh, rolled up and tucked in here. And then I also have another hard and hard or hard soft antenna slid down in the mesh pocket here. And so that way I kind of, um, you know, I kind of protect the monocular and it kind of stays out of the way because that's kind of an odd thing. Um, and then in here I have, you know, the other part of the bag. And so it does have a mesh pocket, which kind of goes down to around here. Uh, if you have anything stuffed in, you can see how it's kind of lumpy. I have my, my holster in here for CCW because it does take, it can take a bladder. It can take a three liter bladder. Obviously it's long, so it could take a really long camelback bladder. But I put my, um, my, my um, CCW in there just because it's nice to just have a bag that you can uh, CCW when you don't want to, when you don't want to carry or you you want to leave it in a bag for whatever reason. Uh, so that's the inside of the bag. 
and it zips up pretty good. Zip this up. It's, it's nice having these finger pulls. It gets caught on the buckles, though. That's kind of the one thing I don't like about having. Uh, uh, I don't like having uh, these pack um, things. I mean, I guess I guess if you're really stuffing these bags full, and you need this to kind of keep everything tight and right, then sure. But I mean, honestly. It's just kind of more of a pain in the ass than anything I, on any bag that has them. I have a Camelback for mountain biking that has them, and it's like you're always unclipping them to just open it. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, it is what it is. So we'll clip all these kind of together. Uh, the one thing you will notice is that this bag does not have a water bottle holder. Um, I thought about getting uh, the Rocket. They have a rocket bag, it's called. And essentially, it looks like it's just this bag. It looks like it's this bag with just two um, side pockets, you know, making it look like a rocket or a dick and balls. Um, they do have, it does have a side pouch here, which I was hoping would be enough slack to slide my um, water bottle that I was using, um, which I'm probably not going to use anymore because it just leaks and it's a pain in the ass. Um, so I did order a single molly strip and it has Velcro loops to attach different size um, water bottle holders. So I'll see if that's even rigid enough to, to work. Um, that should be coming in next week. Um, you know, the one thing, another thing that I was a little concerned about this bag is that it has a big, it has a big, uh, big strap. And I thought it was going to be kind of bulky and annoying, but it actually is pretty good. It, it disperses the weight pretty nice. Um, you also have a little leash here to kind of to kind of give you a little bit more support, so you're not just pulling on the seams, which is nice because these bags do load up as you put more stuff in them. I mean, my bag's pretty heavy. It's kind of I got like nothing in it, but it's really heavy. Uh, this is the strap for the support the support leash, which is right here. So you get like a cross strap. And then this is the big old buckle that they have on the new ones. So it, it swivels to unlock it so that you can disengage it. Or you swivel it over here. And that uh, locks it in place. Which is pretty nice. It's, I mean, I guess if I was wearing gloves all the time, it would be really nice. But it's, you know, it's kind of kind of ugly, big and ugly, but it, it works. It's nice. This is a little D-ring to pull your slack out. And you can uh, roll it up to adjust, which I like. Um, I got my face mask on here and then, uh, what's kind of funny up here is you have a little zipper opening, which I guess would be if you were going to feed through a, um, I don't know, because I don't even know what that's for because it doesn't, it doesn't actually access the bladder pocket. It actually just ac accesses the inside of the bag and you have a, a Velcro one here, which is kind of odd. Um, so they give you like a little zipper one and they give you a Velcro port. Um, I don't know, kind of weird. At first I was thinking it was for the bladder, if you're gonna run a bladder, but it doesn't even access this. This is where the bladder would go, like on any Camelback. And, um, oh, I guess it does access from, from here. I wonder if, yeah, so you get a little access in, from here. Um, but I, what I did is I put my Velcro holster and my, uh, my 10 round, shield in there and so uh that's kind of that's nice um it is a thick pad so you don't really feel it on your back you know because this is this is kind of a nice a nice molded pad on the rear here and then you also get a nice um uh, and then you kind of get a nice um feel for it on the back here and that's kind of its little centipede looking thing um because I have a hard shell holster in there, it kind of pushes up inside the storage area of the bag, and that's why it kind of makes that um, elastic pouch on the back kind of a little bit hard to put stuff in, it's not to mention the little two little uh, shelf spaces that I made for it. But overall, I'm actually really digging this bag. I like the way it looks. It doesn't look too tactical. Like, you could wear it out. It almost looks like a camera bag in some senses. Um, but, you know, nowadays, everybody has something tactical, so it's not even like a... It's not even like a big deal, um, but yeah, that's that's my uh, plan B. 
Hazard 4 or Hazard uh Hazard 4 Plan B bag. So It's got these big old another support. This is like another support thing to cinch the bag down. You got your grab handles here. So yeah. Hazard 4 bag. Oh, and I picked this bag up for 80 well, 89 dollars shipped on eBay. So this bag can be found for under 90 to 85 dollars, um, whereas my Max Expeditions cost over a hundred dollars. Um, and uh, I was looking at the Grid Flux bag, the Max Expedition Grid Flux. It's a sling pack, but because I like wearing my sling over my uh, right shoulder, a lot of sling packs have a dedicated pad so that you can only sling them over your left shoulder and it's just not comfortable for me. I almost was just gonna say, screw it, I'll just get used to it, but then I kinda was intrigued by this bag. I was intrigued by its price. Um, and so uh, now I'm digging it.